<laughs> Something's not right. It is the 20th of February, 2023. And uh, we decided we'd do a bit of a duet. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is my wife. Uh, we need headphones. You got to get headphones and I get headphones. Ah. Those are mine. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get these ones. These are special. No. <laughs> These are just the ones I've been using the whole time. Sorry, why don't where's the little friend thing? Uh, it says it on the band. Oh, right. Right, there we go. No, oh, left. Mm-hmm. I'm on the right. Oh, I hear you twice now. No, you just hear me reprojected through the headphones. So we have the idea of what they're hearing as well. And this is binaural effect. So you hear mm -hmm. both of us. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are uh, new to this, you're probably not, because there's about 200 of you who continually, religiously watch... Uh, this particular thing, which is um, a time capsule of Reddit. Now, one of the things is the eye contact should be into the camera. Just there. You probably already knew that. I think you were pointed the right way. Mm -hmm. ah, At least I have for part of it. <laughs> All right, so who are you? Who am I? Well, they don't know who you are. You could just be any random lady. Yeah, I'm just the person in the red shirt is sitting it... next to you. <laughs> <laughs> we got the red blue thing going. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it? Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I was like 50 50 chance when okay, I picked have, this up. We obviously need to swap seats. <laughs> no, fuck that. Okay. Um, yes, I was I'm, like... his, I'm his wifey. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do this. Let's jump in. So, or this is going to be a Reddit, a Reddit deep dive. Do you ever want, uh, go to Reddit? Ever? Yeah, but it's not as often as you obviously <laughs> yeah well um but like what would be the what would be the place you go on reddit where would you go or is it just you just give the front page for laughs no i'm the type of person who if i have a question and i search google sometimes it'll pop up a reddit page and then i go to google so i go to reddit from there so okay google google reddit and then after reddit some more google got it yeah <laughs> all right um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through i usually spend about 20 minutes going through um reddit and the purpose of that is to get hyped and to temper my own hype by going to reddit and seeing what they're saying on the day for psvr uh psvr2 and so i don't know if i said this earlier it's the 20th of february we are two days away from everybody getting there headsets and so you get into the point where you need like an hour countdown timer in the background <laughs> yeah yeah uh i don't know if that does a good thing for my stress levels i'm like we still haven't gotten anything like i've got amazon has said nothing uh so the charging station which is coming from best buy has uh processed so they've charged for it and it's on its way That's and something. amazon have said nothing Oh, so they're separate orders. Yeah. And so the charging station will come. And you know the other thing we have? Mm -hmm. This is Canada. So we have weather. And the weather is supposed to not be good for the next two days. Mm -mm. It's like, no, I think it's one of those, like, meteorologists are just getting a little bit. It's okay. People here are used to it. <laughs> yeah, hope so. All right. Let's dive into this. Okay. So this is the PlayStation VR subreddit. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought they changed. I thought they changed the banner two days ago. Why changed is it, the, it how? Hang on. I thought they made a new banner. What sub have I been looking at? Obviously, a different one. Maybe it was virtual reality or one of the other subs. So um, was your last video looking at a different banner? Uh, no, it was so since the last video, which is three days or something ago. Um, I was watching the sub just to, I was like, okay, I won't do one today, but I'll look at it and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's just, let's go into it. But I don't know the mystery of the banner. I've been begging them to do a new banner and then maybe you dreamed it. I might have, <laughs> it's possible at this point, to be honest. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this says, welcome to the family. Do you want to see box pictures on PlayStation VR 2 launch day? Box pictures. <gasps> Miss Molotov. Oh. I know her. Oh, do you? <laughs> I met her at uh, at uh, EG, EGX Rest. Remember the underground place where we met like Dean Hall and yeah, that... yeah, yeah. It, so funny. I spent like we spent like forty minutes with Dean Hall and his crew. They were showing off 
Was it Stationers? The first early build of his Stationers game after. I don't remember. It was some game after DayZ. Mm -hmm. Did he have another one? Anyway. Um, but yeah, Miss Molotov, she she's awesome. She was super PlayStation gal. Um, and she mm -hmm. had like, I think she had gray hair, like that kind of gray hair thing, which I always thought looks cool. And she's huge into Wipeout. Um, nothing worse than the same post over and over again. People getting them from retailers and posting a pic of buckled up in a box. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no, no headset pics either. The Switch sub was unbearable after launch due to all the people posting pics of it in different places. <laughs> yeah, nip that but because she's a she's like one of the head moderators that cat needs to get off now she's gonna fuck things up just kick her out of here well i thought you fed them i did so they're just showing you love and yeah. affection yeah well you know she likes to hang out you on want stream, to pick her right? up if you really want you want what? to pick her up so you can hug her if you want Sorry. that's fine we've got two cats here doing a thing so i get a little bit of cable uh drag it's like i'll come i'll say hi He's really loud. I don't know if the mic will pick it up. <laughs> there you go. You got a little bit. <laughs> That's so cool. We just got binaural kitty purr. Oh, man. <laughs> and the thing is, I know we're hearing it back now, and it sounds a little weird for us, but it's clean for them. Mm -hmm. clean. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Completely clean. Okay. Squeaky. Can we get a whisper. <laughs> VR2. When do we want it? Yesterday. <laughs> right answer. <laughs> all right. All right. Someone with like, if, if you're wearing headphones for this, this will be pretty cool. All right. Let's go back. Um, I just realized I was looking at it a lot smaller than I needed to. Okay. So basically they're saying, let's not have a bazillion box shots. <laughs> is, is what they're saying. Um, all right, oh, I saw this earlier. You can tell when I upvoted it because it's yeah, yeah, orange, yeah. right? No, I, I am familiar with Reddit, even if I don't spend my life there. Excuse me. <laughs> Sp speak for yourself, woman. I like the attention to detail. Like at first glance, you think, look, th this is sad. This this is going to be me. I have a feeling. Do you notice the difference? Do you know what that is? That's the charging okay. dock. Oh, is it? Yeah, so everyone's like, you know, has well, he's just, yeah, with that, that's a gay bar, right? Oh, I, just, that... I just realized <laughs> <laughs> I did not see all the women. I just saw Homer's giant eyeballs, and then is <laughs> is is like shock of I oh, but what is this? Oh, it's a kayak. I almost said a kayak stick. What is it called? A paddle? Paddle. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's that one uh that's definitely not psvr2 related oh this is the ozzy osborne um trailer now i'm not going to run the audio but i think i just want to include this for time's sake like the i just had you watch this right you just saw this a few little while ago um i didn't notice there's a corgi or something sitting See, on his lap say what they're saying like make it up <laughs> oh shit sharon sharon cheryl I don't uh know. sharon Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> dinosaurs are so funny. Yeah, yeah, that was his line, wasn't it? <laughs> dinosaurs are so funny. <laughs> but, yeah, you see where the dog is? Did you see that he was on the arm of the fucking sofa? Jesus! But uh, it's this is like a pillow dog. <laughs> it's a, yeah. What the hell? And anyway, so like they're there, and the thing I don't understand is at first the PlayStation is sideways on the couch. Now there's two dogs. Oh, what? you're right. What the hell? Their dogs are multiplying. Sharon's saying, fuck Why is off. A wall? Stop playing your game and go fix the the you know, garbage. And then she leaves him. And uh, and that's that. <laughs> She's like, you chose games over me. Goodbye. Yeah. So for those who don't know, that's Ozzy Osbourne, uh, famous for biting off uh, the head of a bat and several awesome Black Sabbath albums, among other things. Very famous guy. So awesome that he did that. I'm very pleased. Are you purring still? Yeah, he is. He wants to come up here. Okay, come on up. Why not? We'll let you destroy my pants though, because I don't cut his nails like I cut Zoe's. Oh god, please don't. So he'll do like I the just needing to. Oh, I know you love the okay, hair hate, drifting I through hate... the air. Now, have have you played? Still hearing purr. Are are you are are you um? 
familiar with this game? Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know if I ever played any any piece of that, but no, I have seen it in plenty of times. Yeah. So that's kayak VR. Um, I think it's going to be the one to show to grandma, basically. It's like, you know, you sit in a kayak. Apparently some people get motion sick from that, from the buoyancy in the boat or whatever, but... Mm. Um, let me look at it. It's, it's a seasickness. Yeah, I, I guess it is. <laughs> seasickness at home. Sea sips, sim. What if I get it? I'll get Simulated sea sim, sickness. zim sickness. I'll get sea sim, zim sickness. It sounds like sea zim works. swim in sea zim sim sickness. Very weird. Oh. Okay. Trying to make a tongue twister. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm trying to make. Just... I'm trying to make a YouTube video, I suppose. This is weird, though. Anytime we do binaural, it's weird. Like, we had you do binaural in Skyrim. Do you remember that? We did that? No, I remember doing Skyrim, but I don't remember you having a binormal, bin, binaural <laughs> mic for a, a it. A binormal. Hmm. <laughs> I identify as binormal. All right. So I can't afford <laughs> or get a PS5 or PSVR 2. But I hope everyone who orders one gets it on time and has a great time playing. I bought a PSVR back in the day and had so much fun with it. Hopefully in the near future, my luck turns around and I can join in the pun. Love how you can immerse yourself in it. <sighs> I don't know. I always see these posts and I'm like, someone's trying to bag a free PlayStation. <laughs> it's like, nah. that's... yeah, I yeah, think so. 100%. You think someone's just came onto Reddit? And Come on, like... who's seriously going to just hand it over it totally like, happens really it totally happens it okay, does well maybe i'm not part of this culture then yeah yeah the freebie thing just go on i wish i, I could love get a the pizza. first comment was here have a playstation <laughs> look that's exactly it look low-key begging see everyone's calling him out for it oh uh, loving my ass off those chips sure look good sure wish i had some <laughs> it's really good Man, straight up fishing. See? That's so funny. I, I thought I was cynical for thinking this, but yeah, this feels a bit too precious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, look, thanks, bro. Everybody who could just throw out 600 bucks for a luxury product should feel blessed, especially in this economy. As the great Tupac Shakur said, keep your heads up. Yeah, that's right. Very good. All right. I am for some reason seeing a green screened item of tea in our what? screen. Can you move your tea, please? It's in the scene. Yep. There's your tea. Oh. 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 So if I want to hit, like, <laughs> just, yeah, just, just do an upvote. Bit. Do an upvote. Like, <laughs> 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 no, that's classy all right what else we got here i can't believe it arrived almost two days early uh, i don't i can't i can't click that, click that. i don't want to i don't want to know uh watching everyone's orders change to shipped it's playstation direct mailing out pre-orders placed on february 15th playstation direct mailing out pre-orders placed at 11.05 yeah no i don't really feel like it yeah exactly <laughs> Everybody is complaining. Well, there's a lot of Seriously? people complaining about this. Where ever, th those of us who pre-ordered back in November, like you can you can cancel your order, mm -hmm. go to Best Buy right now, uh, and buy it, and they'll ship it to you. You know, and guaranteed for the twenty second. It's like, did you forget about us? What's going to happen? Know. I'm hoping it's just a messaging thing, and they've already got that sorted. Because if it comes late, mm -hmm. and everyone else who bought it last minute dot com gets it early i'm not gonna be happy yeah yeah so but that said i did want to say that um it's also not the end of the world and it's like if it's a couple days not a big problem i actually i actually feel a little bit like Brad's if just the, sitting there twitching again, every time <laughs> but if if i'm sitting there and uh like we go into the podcast at the weekend on this on Saturday, so they've got between Wednesday through Thursday <laughs> to get it in your hands. Morning mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to give it to me, or else someone's gonna pay because 
I need to be able to like either talk about it on the podcast or have the comedy effect of it just showed up or I hear a doorbell ring and I'm like, that's my PlayStation. You know what I mean? <laughs> like PSVR 2, whatever. But yeah. Okay. We should all be active in user reviews section of Metacritic once we're we, once we've played the new games. Uh, the user score was almost non-existent for PSVR, so they're basically saying go to Metacritic, which does a summary score of reviews, um, and I I don't know I don't know if people are actually going to do this, but what do they say? The user score was almost non-existent. Right. So basically, let's help people figure out the review situation. Someone says, here's the link. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. What? Well, okay. Blindfold it. Don't look at the screen. Okay. What's the website for Wikipedia? Go. <laughs> Wikipedia? wikipedia.com or something like that it's actually wikipedia.org that was a trick question but okay fine if i said what's the website for metacritic so i guess it's metacritic.com it's metacritic.org another trick question but <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why i laughed okay right uh i personally use the fuck is open critic never heard about that <laughs> Buck? No, Buck's a cunt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, I never say that word, but when Buck's involved, he Poor knows. Buck. <laughs> Fucking Buck, Buck. All right. Um, does anyone else's browser tabs on their phone look like this? What? Waiting pickup? Oh, because they keep checking. See, it's time to keep checking, checking, checking. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoa, 131 tabs. You don't want to see my collection of tabs. <laughs> nope, one tab gets the job done. Yeah, for real sign up. You know what I do? <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a, a, a auto refresh cycler. I actually have it open now. I'll, I'll show you. You okay. guys can't see it. They should update it right but now. But I have actually. an auto-updating. <laughs> uh, see, that's my Aceto Corsa servers. Mm -hmm. And it just auto-refreshes every five minutes. So it's always fresh information. Good. Yeah, it's just, that, that, that's what I do. And I, the cool thing is you can program those to basically say, if you detect a click or any motion or whatever, don't refresh. Because I ran into that problem when I was trying to pre-order the Quest 2. Hmm. I think it was the Quest 2. And... I was entering all my credit card details and it refreshed and lost everything. I was like, ah, and then the page wouldn't load and you're panicking because you know, thousands of people are going past you at that very second. Yeah. 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 So I learned, mm -hmm. hopefully someone else will learn. Okay. Uh, the, oh, signing up for text messages. That's a good idea. Text notifications. Um, right. This sub every time we see a UPS driver for the next three days. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> the face of the UPS driver is. Great. Do you remember when I ran down the street after the UPS driver in Scotland? I literally you didn't did. actually. I did. I did. I went out onto that road and I walked. I I literally jogged down the street after the truck, and then, and he and he dropped off a package mm -hmm. at another house. <laughs> And then he drove away. <laughs> and another UPS driver came seven hours later. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very hard day. I was like, because when you live in rural Scotland, you're like, um, there's only one delivery a day, usually. Mm -hmm. So I was very nervous that, uh, yeah. That you'd miss it. That I'd missed it. That was the DK. <laughs> Two back in the day. Yeah, I remember you talking about like you you were getting, you wanted to record you chasing after the the truck, truck. or something like that. But, but instead, we actually have that <laughs> video of um, I think I gave the guy a hug or something. Uh, I put it. I, I had a camera on. I don't know if it's legal or whatever, but I had a camera on the guy on the front porch, and was streaming it and all that. Oh, you remember? 
Yeah, yeah, you could see something out the window or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's so yeah. long ago now. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing a great job. I've got crisscross hands I'm trying to mic Karen at the same time, and um, uh, I'm not going to the faces. See, if Please. you'd use the mouse with your left hand, you'd be all set. <laughs> yes, yes, woman. Woman from the leftist club. <laughs> um, uh, did this spot with the PlayStation team. This is the Aussie one again. Mm -hmm. They did that so well. They really did. Although it kind of looks like a meta set. Like the meta sets are all like clean and white sofas and, mm. you know, um, it's either that or dimly lit because later they realized that people were playing in blazing lit like scenes and their quests wouldn't track properly. So they're like, we got to show them they got to play in the dark. <laughs> Not the complete dark, just like moderately dark. I can't wait to try the different light levels on and see it. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just very excited. That's Digital Foundry, Gran Turismo. Uh, I expect you to die news. Ooh, we got a message from HQ. It's very odd. It says, it only says three things. For all agents, confidential, bit.ly. You think they're going to make money if I click this link? No. What's behind the link? I'd love if it was a Rickroll. <laughs> I still love Rickrolls. I still love Rickrolls. Uh, PSVR 2 without parole's tier list for day one launch titles. Agree or disagree? This is great. Have you seen these lists before? So it's basically like superior or supreme, like the top class titles that you should... Um, you should play like day one and then mm. A, B, C. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, I'm curious because I would... I see Demio up there. Yeah, okay. I've just wiped out half of the competition. Let's take our faces away just for a second. <laughs> All right. Oh, Horizon, yeah. So uh, that's Gran Turismo 7, mm. Horizon, No Man's Sky. I thought No Man's Sky was delayed. I don't think it's coming at launch. I might be wrong. Village, which is what I'm going to play first. And then Song that's... in the Smoke. Mm -hmm. Village is Resident Evil 8. Huh. So see the, um, can you see it? V-I-I-I. -I -I. So that's the eight oh. huh. village. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's like Biohazard had it in its title, didn't it? I um, can't remember how. Biohazard. Hmm. I don't even remember. Um, Song in the Smoke, survival game, and Demio. So those are all really cool games. I recognize the song in the smoke name, but I don't remember the details. I only played it once on stream, so you probably didn't see it. It's mm -hmm. very like like cell shaded survival game. Almost looks like a Turok universe. Well, yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Um Kayak Mirage, that's the one we were just looking at. Moss. Moss, Moss mm -hmm. Book Two, Pavlov, Res, Run Oh no. No 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 no. This game is terrible. Sink it to D. Uh Garden <laughs> of the Sea. I'd probably have that as a B. Light Brigade, again, B. Thumper. Thumper's, yeah, that's an A. It doesn't belong. Zenith and probably sink that down. We won't go through all these, but after the fall should go up. Uh, Cities VR? Cities VR, yeah. So that's like um, uh, City Skylines. Yeah, that's what VR. I thought. Mm -hmm. They released it on Quest, but it was quite mm -hmm. stripped down. Okay. So I'm curious to see what the PlayStation 1 can do. I'd That'll... like to see what it looks like. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, you know, it's got cities of full of people and stuff, just like in The Sims or whatever, you know. Yeah, so, but like, yeah. you know, in VR, like... Oh, yeah. Has you it can come look at people and... and then they go, ah! Um, <laughs> well, it'd be good if they went into that kind of detail. <laughs> <laughs> just like no, shaking. I, I used to play appears. this game, um, Tropico. Yeah. Just do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The too. islands. But stuff. I love the fact that like all the little people, like they had their own thoughts and feelings and names and all those little details. Like, it was, it was, oh, it was fun about it. The only game I played that had that was like that mm -hmm. was um, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hmm. Roller Coaster Tycoon was that way. So you could click on little Cindy, and she'd be like, "Cindy wants ice cream. Your park doesn't have any ice cream stands. Cindy <laughs> is unhappy. You know, something <laughs> like that." <laughs> that <laughs> we i just saw this tweet a couple of days ago someone was talking about um black and white the god game mm. from what was the guy's name he's kind of an asshole his developer very well known um uk guy i don't remember i mean he's british but mm -hmm. um 
it would be so cool to have black and white in VR. Like, have a little creature that you can control, and then, you know... Um, I've heard of it, but I've not played it myself. No? Oh, um, <laughs> so it's really cool. So, like, you have these, like, a little lion, and you teach him through your actions. So, for example, if you beat him around, he gets violent, and then will eat villagers and stuff. But if you're kind to him, and you're gentle... Um, he'll be kind and like you can teach him things to do even like if he poos in the water and you feed that to him he'll learn to eat his own pee his own poo and stuff like you can do all kinds of twisted things and i think there are some god powers that come as well like lightning and stuff like that and then i forget the game element of it but basically you're raising a creature from being a small little pup or whatever into a big kind of almost a giant and then there's villages of people you can get the villages to worship you or like be scared of you so it's like mm. the powers of good and evil yeah, yeah yeah and i think that would be really cool in in vr but <laughs> it's one of those games uh okay so that's this one anything else on that list that you um are key, are interested in um, i know you probably can't see many of them there's of them tetris, tetris right that's tetris effect you said that was good didn't you oh puzzling places i still want to Oh, Play yeah. That. And Pistol Whip. I love that game. Pistol Whip is going to be good. Though. Did I ever tell you the um, advantages of the PSVR 2 headset? Like um, what it's what it's like good for? Um, so there's, I'll tell you three things just mm -hmm. before. Just for you and anyone else who doesn't realize this yet. So first thing, you know the quest in a dark scene? The, the blacks are like gray, not black. It's not like... You never get to like proper turn off black mm. darkness. It's all you'd notice it in a, in a horror game, but you don't play any horror games. Um, I'd have to. Yeah, if you said it to me before I checked. I'm sure I'd notice, but right. otherwise I don't think about it. Yeah, and I would be <laughs> the same. Um, so one of the things is it's got an OLED panel, so it does like proper darks. The other thing it has is, and this is the first time a VR headset has had this, is it's got facial haptics so there's a rumble device in the forehead really? which i've heard from people who've done it makes it you feel it through your whole body Jeez. so for example in horizon when a bird goes flying over you you feel the way the wind come down hmm. and ripple across your face that's cool yeah <laughs> and then um you've of course got the eye tracking so the thing is tracking where your eyeballs are looking mm -hmm. and based on where you're looking it's rendering that in sharp detail and letting the rest go. So what that means mm -hmm. is you can run a game at higher vis visual quality. And so that's really exciting. So yeah, a lot yeah. of the games, even running on a PlayStation, which is maybe better than my computer, um, can still like run really well. So there's that. And then there's the 3D audio. The 3D audio. <laughs> <laughs> And 3D spatial audio is awesome. Like, I mean, mm. I think I've converted you with a 5.1 surround sound system upstairs. So, yeah. it's, so those are the exciting things to look <laughs> forward to. Okay. And uh, that's this. And then we'll try to wrap it because we're nearly... Oh, you know what? I'm doing the wrong mouse again. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Do a couple more and then we'll uh, finish up. Okay. Can they see that mouse that you just left hanging there? No. Okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm thinking about making a chill underwater exploration game for PSVR 2. What do you think about chill underwater exploration games, Karen? <laughs> it's not would you, chill for would you, me. <laughs> would you like a chill underwater exploration game? <laughs> I'd like to watch you play that chill underwater exploration. I don't think I've seen anyone freak out quite as much as you have like the ex and i get it it's terrifying mm -hmm. it's literally terrifying i mean even on a like a 2d game i remember getting echo you know echo the dolphin yep. and like freaking out when the shacks sharks attack you like <laughs> yeah yeah ocean ocean rift i think we put you in ocean rift at some point and um wait yeah, I just I still remember like um, when I was a teenager. No, real life experience. The when shark? I was a teenager, we have this um, uh, huh. this coming of age thing in my family, so that you're they allowed... try to drown you, right? 
<laughs> no, they, they live on the Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay. And um, there's so this really wide river. And uh, the whole idea is we're out on boats a lot and you have to wear your life jacket. But if you're if you prove yourself as a confident enough swim swimmer, you can just have the life jacket in the boat instead of actually on you. Um, but to, in order to prove that, you have to swim all the way across the river um, with like, you know, your parent is in a boat next to you and paddling along. And um, so when I when I finally did that, like, I remember my dad, like, he told me I wasn't allowed to swim until I was up here up to this point in the water and this water is like murky it's like brown you can't see like within an inch oh. under the water and there's jellyfish and there's skates if you don't know what a skate is it's like it's like a stingray but with like two fins on the back that kind of pop up above the water so it looks like a couple of sharks like... oh my god <laughs> i mean this is the states how do you know you're not stepping on a body yeah I, well it's it's there's lots of stuff on the on the bottom too like you're stepping on shells and things so it's not just sand so like i i remember getting to this point and i was literally hyperventilating because i could not see anything and like when i finally was able to just swim i felt so much better um oh, so that i could keep to the surface at least this is our cat zoe zoe say hello <laughs> she's staring the fluff thing down i think she's just like this pet me woman <laughs> just do uh, your job uh, exactly yeah but that's okay, this total tangent but the, yeah but I, I think those things that you incur when you're a kid like they come back later you know uh so i already published hidden treasures in the forest of dreams not vr on playstation i was not able to bring it to vr because the types of assets i used are mostly flat textures and they look awful in VR. In addition, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not reading all of this. What did, what, what do they say? I care a lot for indie devs. I do. Uh, what else going on? There we go. Uh, I now have a full-time job and very little time. In other words, don't develop a game. We know that developing games with full-time jobs is hard. That doesn't mean don't do it. Don't it just do means it. it's hard. It's hard. Don't do it. <laughs> yes, because things being hard has deterred you so many times. No, but they should have. <laughs> <laughs> um, I always wanted to play underwater, and I do just that in No Man's Sky. But I want more creative assets like Avatar. Oh, that should be easy for a single dev. <laughs> oh, God. Um, thank you for reading. I'm sharing my thoughts. Can't wait to get my hands on. Best of luck for all. Getting clean and prompt deliveries. I just imagine someone with a broken box or a box that's opened, ripped, and I just hope that doesn't happen to anyone who, who matters. Uh, please do it for <laughs> that's me. A horrible way to say it. <laughs> it's, like, it's okay, you don't matter. <laughs> I just like it. Just like it just puts the thought in your head of like, wait, who doesn't matter? <laughs> who does him think doesn't matter? He's a he's a doesn't matterist. Um, let's see a subnautica style game in vr would be an instant day one buy for me yeah I, that's the thing like subnautica is it'd be not, a buy it and be afraid it's not a friendly game <laughs> it is a completely not friendly game all right peace out hose when i get my psvr2 it's all over for you hose hose social life family responsibilities business duties Familiar. Of familial responsibilities. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, financial obligations, personal relationships, general hygiene, objective reality. <laughs> I like it. That's good. That's quite good. Uh, that's kayak. People are showing their uh, loading screens. <laughs> I, I fought the hype and the hype won. This, Jesus, like, I don't get it. Why would you buy 10 games? I mean, okay, fair enough. If you're all, if all you by yourself and there's nobody else. It's just you and the console, and you've got all the time in the world. Then I think I understand. But like, if you have a family or even friends, ten games on launch day <laughs> is it? Is it just for a sampling? Like mm -hmm. I'd buy three, maybe. That's a good question. Or two. It's kind of like like if you have a dinner, are you the type of person who eats 
one piece of the dinner at a time, like eat the veggie and then the meat and then, you know, whatever? Or are you like a sample each little bit? And then You're that kind of person. Like, which one? You're a sampler. You're like a... a... Yeah, I am. That's true. Without saying the, the naughty word. And you're probably definitely a one at a time, or at least you are in um, like shows. I know you're in shows because you don't want to jump around. I don't like jumping around. No. It's like finish... <laughs> that show then do the next show. no because otherwise i get like uh no. I, I lose my care for the first show what's make me a, such a forget? faithful husband like I don't do you jump forget around. what's happening in it what? do you forget what's happening in it if you watch another show in the meantime no i disconnect from the characters hmm. like it's less about remembering what's happening there's a little bit of that but it's more yeah, I emotionally disconnect and I'm like moving on to the next thing. I mean, to be fair, I, I felt that in like in a really intense part of a show. Like I want to keep watching it because you're kind of on that wave with them. Yeah. But, you know, I won't feel that in general over the whole show. Like I'm happy to drop it and pick it up and, you know, <laughs> depending on my mood. Oh, very good. <laughs> you know, I had... Um... I had planned to do a little clip. I'm going to save it for twi Twitch now. Or Twitter? Twitter. I'm going to save it for Twitter uh, for before my unboxing. Because I've I've set up a very, very complicated, very Zim style unboxing for launch day. I'm very excited about it. And I was going to run like a 13 second clip. But I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Because we're already running a bit long. But I did want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Uh vicariously living through my excitement for this headset um how i don't know i don't know what to ask you they're gonna ask like <laughs> like how i don't know it's doing this headset's doing weird things to me i don't know I, like because quest quest 2 was a big deal when it came mm -hmm. and that's like two and a half years ago uh it's like the first new hardware just like when we got connect or the other like technological leaps mm -hmm. this one like some people look at it and they're like it's just it's just a it's just another headset like it's just a panel you're in vr it's not like crazy field of view it's not crazy frame rate a dog behind me this is the tail look at the <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what she wants there should be a fight here in a second um Yeah, I don't know. I hope Amazon doesn't screw me over. I hope we actually get it on time. But yeah, this has been a fun little series. Uh, I think this is the end. It's you okay. Know I know where there's an Amazon warehouse. You can just go like knock knock. Yeah, <laughs> like let me in. Yeah. <laughs> well, this has been a bit of a funny test. I thought it was a good time for us to try this weird set of the binaural mic thing. I always wanted us to do something like this. Um, <laughs> So hopefully that wasn't too weird, hearing all of the lispy stuff. <laughs> Earlier I was pretending this was ice cream, and I actually licked it. I was like, no, 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 no. And then I got a fucking tongue full of hair. So <laughs> Well, this did, I wouldn't think it would come off like it does with the animals, right? Uh, no, some of it came off. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is, this is a bit of an awkward, like, thing to shove in people's face. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like a little baby head. It's like, it's like a troll from the 90s. <laughs> it's a little troll. Uh, speaking of trolls, that was our Reddit time capsule. That's the seventh in the, episode, in the saga that we have. Hopefully that's the last one of these. And I won't come on for an eighth one crying. I hope that's the last one. If it is, it's good. Well, thank you for Karen coming on with me and stay in the holy Jesus 40 minutes. I do talk a lot. It doesn't help me to have a friend. Mm. Any <laughs> final words before we go? Um, no, have a good night or day or whatever time it is there. <laughs> How do you say that in Japanese? Which one? All of them. <laughs> uh, good night is konbanwa. Good morning is ohio or ohio gozaimasu. And good day is konnichiwa. 
goodbye is sayonara. <laughs> Do you know how to say, I had a fucking great time? I know. It's Japanese. A PlayStation VR 2. <laughs> <laughs>